Donald Trump is targeting Clinton-leaning Michigan and Wisconsin in a very big way. These are both states where Trump and Bernie Sanders pulled out wins in their respective primaries earlier this year. So does he really have a shot? Let's talk about it with Bree Payton, she's a staff writer for The Federalist, and Leslie Marshall, Fox News contributor and syndicated radio talk show host. Ladies, welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, Leslie, let me start with you. So Hi, Donald Heather. Trump is spending a whole lot of time there in Michigan and in Wisconsin. Both those states went for Democrats. I mean, Paul Ryan back in 2012 as the VP candidate couldn't even pull in Wisconsin. Is that a good strategy for Donald Trump to focus his efforts there, or do you disagree with it? I disagree focusing the efforts there. I understand why, and certainly when he is so appealing to the blue-collar worker crowd. But if you look at those who forecast, like 538, Hillary Clinton has almost an 80, and I'm rounding up, almost an 80% chance of winning both of those states. I would actually put those states in the win column. If I were Donald Trump, I would uh, really focus more of my efforts and money on other states uh, like Florida, Ohio. Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and even Arizona. And Bree, what do you think about him spending so much time there and focusing efforts there? I think it's a decent strategy. I think there's been a lot less polling uh, in both of those states. And I think in particular with all this breaking news surrounding uh, Hillary Clinton's the reopening investigation into her mm -hmm. emails and some of the shady business that she did during her secretary uh, or tenure as secretary of state, I think it makes sense um, to really barrel down and focus on those mm -hmm. two states. I think particularly in Wisconsin, it kind of makes sense. This is a state that has seen a huge amount of economic growth and recovery under a Republican governor. So I could see why they would be kind of reluctant to undo a lot of that progress under a president like Hillary Clinton. Well, 